Small businesses offer a broad world of opportunity and creativity. They are adapting and changing to foster growth and serve their communities. However, there is an underlying threat to their success that is vastly overlooked and ignored. Internal fraud is a common problem that can leave a business financially devastated. Theft of inventory and money is an occurrence that is often not realized until significant damage has already been done. According to the ACFE 2014 report to the nations, a typical organization loses 5% of its annual revenue to fraud. Worldwide, this translates to a potential $3.7 trillion loss because of internal fraud. This is not a small problem. Steve Dawson is a nationally recognized speaker with over 30 years experience investigating cases of internal fraud. He is the president of Dawson Forensic Group, a firm that investigates cases of fraud, performs fraud prevention evaluations, and delivers educational seminars on anti-fraud techniques across the country. Well good, I'm glad you don't have evil people working in your organization, but it's not the evil people that are committing the fraud. In 95% of the investigations that I perform, it's the truly decent people that are committing the fraud. Those people that have found themselves in the fraud triangle, a significant financial pressure has entered their lives. They have the rationalization or the ability to convince themselves that what they're doing is not wrong, such as, I'm just gonna pay it back once I get past this financial crisis. And then finally, opportunity. They're put in a position with weak to no internal controls. That's the mindset change that we need to adopt. It's not the evil people, it's the truly decent people committing fraud. A member of the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, the Texas Society of Certified Public Accountants, and the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners, he has performed over 300 investigations for organizations such as the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, the U.S. Departments of Agriculture and Health and Human Services, the National Credit Union Administration, and the Department of Public Safety in conjunction with the Texas Rangers. He has taken his diverse experience and recognized the need for a step-by-step -step guide for designing and instituting solid internal controls specified to small businesses. His internal control designs have been published by John Wiley & Sons, one of the largest publishers of business books in the world. Mr. Dawson offers a variety of educational opportunities directed at fraud detection, fraud prevention, and internal control methodologies. He provides group seminars and speeches, single organization training sessions, webinars, and classes for CPE compliance. So one of the investigations I performed, we were finished with the case. I had finished my testimony. I'd lived through cross-examination. It was an open and shut case. There was so much evidence against this individual, but it's obvious that the individual was going to be found guilty. And a few minutes later, the jury comes back with a verdict of not guilty. Nobody in the courtroom could believe that they've rendered a verdict of not guilty. When we interviewed the jury after and asked them, how could you have possibly come up with a not guilty verdict with all of the evidence against this individual? And they said, well, the company never told them that it was wrong to steal. Folks, that's the world that we live in right now. That's the society that we live in. And that's why the fraud policy is absolutely necessary. The fraud policy tells the employee it's wrong to steal. Your small business can reduce the probabilities of unnecessary financial loss simply by implementing effective protection against fraud. Contact Steve Dawson through the Institute for Small Business Internal Controls to arrange conference presentation and training needs.